How deep should you squat for maximum muscle growth? Let's take two opposing opinions. Number one, the internet kingdom that claimed that deeper is always better. Number two, the common sight in the gym where someone slaps loads of plates onto the bar and then moves with a range of motion so microscopic that it's barely visible to the naked eye. Did they move? What does the research say? For the sake of brevity, I'm going to skip over studies solely using electromyography, which basically means putting electrodes on muscles to measure their activity. Instead, I'm going to focus solely on research that actually tests body composition changes. One study in 2013 utilised a squat-only program and compared 120 degrees to 60 degrees of knee flexion. The deeper squat resulted in greater muscle growth as measured in the front of the thigh. In 2014, a study utilised a more comprehensive leg programme and compared 90 degrees to 50 degrees of knee flexion. Once again, the longer range of motion came out on top, as confirmed by changes in front thigh cross-sectional area. So two studies that both suggest that longer ranges of motion can result in more muscle growth. Importantly, this also factors in when the shallow range of motion uses significantly higher loads, i.e. reflective of people who are ego lifting in the gym. A brand new study tested a squat only program and compared 140 degrees to 90 degrees of knee flexion, but they measured muscle growth across a wider range of muscle groups, not just the thigh. Contrary to previous research, there were no statistically significant differences between squat depths in terms of the growth of the knee extensors. In this instance, knee extensors refers to the quadricep group minus the rectus femoris. However, deep squats did result in greater muscle growth of the adductors and the glutes. Changes in hamstring growth were absolutely piss poor regardless of squat depth. So this further reinforces the idea that traditional squats just aren't a great exercise choice when it comes to hamstring development. No significant changes were seen in the rectus femoris either. It's impossible to say what the best squat depth is for muscle growth because this research tends to compare two specific angles rather than looking at a wide spectrum. However, it does seem safe to conclude that longer ranges of motion will result in greater muscle growth than shorter ranges of motion, even when the shorter ranges of motion use heavier loads. So striving for a longer range of motion prior to just slapping the plates on seems like a prudent idea. And of course, Train within your constraints for mobility and injury risk circumstances.